up, you sexy bitches? Have I got a story for you. This happened like a week ago. I just recently sold my Sanriel dune buggy to a dude in Nelson. And my buddy Victor and I went to go deliver it. So we loaded on the trailer, truck, everything's going. And on the way back, there was this dude that was hitchhiking. And Victor, being who he is, a nice dude, decided to pick him up. Because, you know, it is the season and you should, you should give him back. So we picked this dude up. And as soon as he got into the vehicle, it was like nothing but pure alcohol. Had he stayed in the vehicle long enough, and he actually wanted to travel all the way back with us to our destination, which was like another five hours of driving. Like if he stayed in the vehicle, I think I would have got drunk off of fumes. He was that hammered. So this dude had a story of why he was even in the streets hitchhiking his way in the first place. He was actually looking for an eight ball of cocaine. <laughs> but before that, he was in a t parent teacher conference meeting with his, obviously his son's teacher, his son, his mom, so his wife and his stepmother. So what? No, stepmother, uh, mother-in-law. And during that interaction, the teacher repeatedly called his son flamboyant. Now, keeping in mind, the person saying this to the father or to the family is himself a homosexual teacher, which, cool, I don't care, you be you, don't really care. But the thing is, is that this dude was very, very sensitive about having a gay son. Now, yes, it's 20, almost 2020 and people should be more accepting, blah, 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 all that. You, you, you know the, the, the gist. But this dude was also like from Eastern Canada. So he was like um, Newfoundland or Maritimes or something. I think it was, he was more from the Maritimes. So he speaks like super quickly. And this dude was like, stop calling my son flamboyant. Stop calling fl son flamboyant. Now, the definition of flamboyant is, is actually it's a good thing to be called because it, it just means like bold. It means you have a good taste. You're eccentric. You're more like outgoing, courageous, stuff like that. Like, it's a good thing to be called. But here's the thing about the English language is it changes and words get adopted by certain groups. Like, I'm sure you could just like think of a few yourself. Let's just not go into that. But words get adopted. So the person saying it can absolutely mean something different to how it's intended to actually be used. So in this interaction, I don't know if it was just a massive misunderstanding of, hey, this dude uh, is not meaning it in like your son's gay, but he's meaning it as in like he's literally flamboyant, like he's outgoing, he's... You know, he can make friends easily, something, something, something like that. And anyway, let's just continue on with the story. The teacher, sorry, the, the, the dad punched the teacher in the face a few times. And I believe he's now getting a divorce. Uh, everyone seems to hate him. So he went, he left that room and went drinking. And then he decided to drink and drive. So... <laughs> this guy just did a lot of really bad decisions all in one night. So he decides to drink and drive and obviously gets caught. We picked him up just like pretty much just after he got um, released from drinking and driving. He was just sort of like staggering around the, the road. But now I'm like, hmm, I don't know because he should have been thrown to the drunk tank. But, I don't know, he, we, we picked him up. That was his story, we picked him up. On the way to the next town, which is where he was going for his eight ball, he goes on that huge rant of like, the son, the, the, the teacher called my son flamboyant and punched me in the face and shit like that. But he also invites himself to go all the way back with us to Salmonar. Which as I said, it was like another five hours of driving. 
Like he was he was about to cry in the back seat. Um, and then he pulled it all together. He said, I'm not fucking going to, going with you guys. Screw that. And he, 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 uh, got out of the, the vehicle at the next town and he just sort of walked to his buddy's house. He, he was texting, uh, and, and several times he said, I can't believe you guys actually picked me up. Like, I am so fucked. <laughs> I can't believe you guys actually picked me up. After we dropped him off, it, um... It was stunned silence in the vehicle for for a little bit. <laughs> you just like I, I was just like uh, 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 what? Just like what? What just happened? So during this trip, this crazy man was in the back seat, and he was saying some pretty fucked up shit, like. Some weird, weird, like homophobic, really gay, like just, just like it was, it was really weird, like and just like way out there. But here's the thing: when you have someone like that behind you, and they are saying the most stupid, repulsive, fucked up shit on this planet you're, that you just don't even agree with fundamentally as a human being, you just agree with them. Nope. All that goes out the window when you're like, you know what? I don't know what the hell this guy's going to do. I'm just going to be, um, I'm going to agree to everything his, he says. Like, I don't care what it is. Just like, yeah, man, you're totally right. Yeah. Fucking, yes, you're right not to like gay people. It was a good decision to punch that teacher in the face. Drinking and driving? What do the cops know? Alcohol, that fixes everything. Cocaine, your life choices are impeccable, sir. And when he invited himself to go all the way back to Salmon Arm, my heart was just like, oh, fuck. We're, we're going to be adopted into a cult here pretty quick. Just all agreeing to everything and shit, no matter what it is that he says. So I'd imagine that guy's going to be in the pogey for at least a little bit of time. And he's probably going to make some really good friends with some bald people. Oh, at one point, he, he was like leaning over the console and it looked like he was going to bust a rail out right there. And then he decided to invite us along with him. Up to which we said, no thank you. And, well, I said no thank you. Victor said, only on weekends, bro. But right now I'm working. <laughs> and that is how you get away with your life when you pick up a bad hitchhiker. Let me just try and redo the accent and the speed at which he spoke. Holy fuck boy, I'm sure glad that you guys actually picked me up. It was snowing like fuck out there. I'm, I'm actually going to go to the next town for some cocaine. You guys into cocaine? 